Hello everyone. Welcome to research and development software solution. Today we will learn how to create a registration page in ASP.NET using SQL Server in entire architecture. Okay, let us start. I have already created this page, but I will tell you all overview of this page. I have created one page like name is new user dot xpx. This is the my new, this is the my page and press for F7 to go to source, go to CSR part. Click on design. Yeah, design is look like this. how I have designed this page. I have taken one table inside the table TR and TD. Name is label and next is text box. Label text box like this. And I have used two more control. One is drop down and other is file uploading control like upload your photo. Go to source code. I will tell you coding part. This is the table. This is the entire table. And this is single row like this. This is the single row like name and text box. I just this copy this and paste them multiple time and change the name and text box names like email id contact number user id pin number and countries drop down list and one more command like file uploading Upload your photo, upload your file. And this is the command file upload control. ASP.fileupload.id.file photo relate server and label name is LBL info. Okay. And I've used one button like submit button. Okay, you go to design part and click on submit button. Then we can code this. Before code, we were clicking on submit button. You have to stop this Visual Studio. Double click on Summit button, go to this code. This is the code for button on Summit button. All text box and drop down list are used like a uh, using in another applications like this. And I, I will tell you like one profile photo upload how to code this. If profile photo, profile, what is profile photo? Profile photo is find it, file uploader ID. File uploader ID is the profile photo, this is the file uploader ID. File uploader ID dot has file is equal to two. Then a string file name. I declare on a string like file name. File name dot path dot file name. Then file uploader ID dot file name. Okay. Then I have created an object. Object entity layer object entity layer object like this. Press F12 or go to this. Object of entity layer, entity layer, what is entity layer? Business entity layer. This is the entire architecture. So I will tell you business entity layer. 
business entity layer. Yes, this is the business entity. Business entity layer. I have created entity. Entity it means uh, how much column I have to use in my big form. All is created for in entity in entity page like string name get set string content number get set. Only ID is used for integer, and everything will be used on string format. And I have used one. Extra variable like boolean is active. So this is uh, so this is the clear. So we are going to save button click. Yes, this is the object of entity layer. So this part is for only file uploading part. Like if file uploader, the file photo is a file uploader ID dot has file equal to Then I have declared a string file name path dot file name dot file uploader ID dot file name object entity model dot image file file image equal to file name profile photo dot save Edge dot server dot my path image profile profile image colon slash plus file name where is my file name file name is this okay if this condition is true then execute this else else db is string to so it is string to null value okay okay now we i will declare one integer integer dot result int dot result equal to object dot bll bll it means object of business logic layer click on that and press f f12 go to business logic layer Business logic layer. Okay. This is the business logic layer. I have created another. This is the another layer, but I have used this page on the new user registration page because I have declared this using namespace. So we are coming to save time button. This, if result equal to business logic layer dot save user detail. What is save user detail? Save user detail is save user detail. This, I have created data access layer. Data access layer. I will show you. Sorry, data access layer. This is the data access layer. Data access layer. Okay. This is the dial data access layer. I have created data access layer object dial dot dial dot insert object. What insert object? Insert object is the method in data access layer like this. Public int third to this. Okay. I have created 
all field like first of int result this is the stored procedure name i will show you how it is working with stored procedure name this is my database name stored procedure name this is the stored procedure control f5 plus find it this is the stored procedure this is the stored procedure okay? i will tell you insert i have declared all variable which i have required in the same page or entire project yeah i have taken one process code 150 which got null this is my insert function if process code is got insert then all data will be inserted in my registration table okay as you let i want to i want to use all data which is inserted into registration table but only user id and password it insert into login detail table so i have write the query here insert into login detail user id password confirm password only three parameter i have taken user id password confirm password and be, uh, be careful if, uh, if we, we run this, if we run educate this query, then same at, it, at the same time data will be inserted into two tables. First is one registration, another is one login detail table. Because insert command is executed of both this. Okay, now we are coming in sysr part. So store procedure command type is store procedure process code is equal to verify insert okay this process insert now hope first we have checked the registration table registration table we have 20 we have 20 record in registration table okay and 53 record in login detail table. Now we will run our project. Let us see what the output. Yes, this is the output. So first we have registered one username, like we can register any username, like yes, and DW likes Kumar, okay. And we register in the ID as DWP Sandeep.QMAQMAR at the rate gmail.com. And number reach 5192345. And user ID each MSA and DWP Sandeep. TMA card. And they get tomorrow. Okay. Process pin code suppose for this, this, this. Okay. You know, I have India. Okay. And India, Nestle Kalia, Haryana. India, Haryana. 
और हरियाणा के जितने स्टेट है वो आ गए सपोज करो यह ओके नाउ वी हैव अपलोड वी हैव अपलोड फोटो यू कैन चूज एनी पिक्चर्स ओके we have to just check our desktop you can make icon on desktop we will upload this just for testing purpose we are uploading icon 11 picture okay so we are going to now we create a password password is same Yes, A N D W E T C D five one two three. Okay. S A N D W E T C D five one two three. Why do we match in this? Sandi. Okay. Now we click the submit button. Data has been successfully submitted. So data has been saved. So in message, click on OK button. So now go to our registration table. First of all, how much registration table is twenty one? Twenty. Now it will be twenty one. How much this? Forty fifty three. It will fifty four. We will check last record. We will check last record. Last record is this. This is the login detail table. So I have stored only three name, three variables name, like user ID, password, confirm password. Sandeep at the rate one to three. Sandeep at the rate one to three. Sandeep at Sandeep at Kumar. This is the user ID and password. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, press F5 for execute this. We check the last record. Last record is Sandeep. Number this. This India Haryana. So I will print out this Sandeep password. Confirm password. Back to zero. You will write this. This date. This Sandeep update. What is it? Sixteen. Forty-two fifty. Okay. And profile picture. I mean, what is profile picture? Profile picture is that. Profile picture is that is iPhone eleven. Okay. In the next video, we will display all the inserted data into a grid view. This topic will be covered in our next video. Okay? Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share and comment and subscribe my channel.